Learning STEM should be fun for everyone, and Bukola, founder and CEO of Innovent Technologies, has come up with the first ever interactive African-American STEM DAO. Good morning, Bukola. Good How morning. Are you? I'm fine. Thanks so, for having me here. I'm great to have you here. And this is really cool because we were just talking that you are in technology. That's your background. Yes. And software you engineer, started yes. to see that you wanted to make sure the kids start getting into it, but having fun. Because yes. we know that sometimes STEM classes can be very, um, how can we want to say, go ahead and say it. Yeah, complex. So <laughs> what I've found in my research is, especially underrepresented um, youth, they find that computer science could be boring or too complex. So they feel like they're not smart enough. So they're intimidated by it, by it or also lack of related mentors yeah. to help inspire them. So, and, and, and especially kids of color, they, they kind of mm. like feel that there's nothing out there for them mm -hmm. to do. And that's what really came up with this idea to show them that, you know what, there is possibility for you and there's ways that you can learn STEM in a fun way. Absolutely. So that's why I created this products to help engage, educate, and help inspire them and boost their confidence. Yeah. So that's what this is all about with the um, my activity books, our um, interactive Shami doll, and also our Princess King Code storybook. Yeah, this is uh, this is really cool. And what's Thank really you. nice is that everything can stand alone. Uh, yes. as they're working through this. And what are the age groups that you usually are focusing in on? Yeah, so these are targeted more so kids in K through four grades. Uh-huh. Yes. And so they can do, what, again, how'd you come up with this? What made you want to do this? <laughs> well, as you know, I'm a software engineer and I worked in industry for the past 17 years and I'm usually the only black person or black woman on the software development team. Yeah. So I've learned how to be confident and hold my own. So I got to a point where I just wanted to give back to the community so I can feel more fulfilled and see more of underrepresented youth after we thrive in, in this computer science space. And so I just had to think about, okay, it has to be entertaining to capture their attention because <laughs> yeah. it can't be boring. And then, you know, of course, how do I inject these educational pieces? So I also um, kind of uh, make sure that they are able to understand it. I want it to be easy to understand. So yeah. that's what I did. So let's open up one of the mm -hmm. activity books. I want to just look have, if yes. you can hold that up to the camera and show them how to hold it up. <laughs> and, and just tell me a little bit. So when you when you do the interactive. Um, I mean, I see there's problems to solve, there's different things, but these are really, uh, how can I say, not complicated to solve, but it's definitely something they're learning to go forward mm -hmm. with, right? Absolutely. So these can be used at home or in the classrooms, and I made it easy and fun, so I have like tracing exercises, crossword puzzles, um, like how to decode binary numbers, <laughs> you know, I even have um, grid games on there as well, and they can learn how to write out their algorithms, which are the list of steps used to complete a task. So. I have lots, about 17 activities in there. That is great. Yes. And I like how you said they can either do it at home or in class. And yes. that's what you really want to do is get this into the classroom. Absolutely. Or to the homeschool kids. Yes. Because there's a lot more kids being at home schooled. That's correct. So, Absolutely. I like it. Okay. And then how does the doll work? <laughs> awesome. Thanks for asking me that. So with the doll, like I said, she speaks about over 220 words and it's embedded in 12 different phrases. And she goes over terms like algorithm, binary numbers, and such. So in the back of the doll, they come, um, you have to pop out the voice box, yeah. and it comes with a little tab that protects the battery, so once you take that out, that's how you activate it and put it back in. Uh -huh. So you want me to play her? Yeah, I do, I want to awesome. hear her. Awesome, so I just have to play it in the back. All right, you can lift her up. You want okay, to let me her. lift her yeah. up. I like that, man. It's a list of steps to complete a task, such as the things you do to get ready for bed at night. So that's the word wow. algorithm, yeah. and the next one. Hey, it's one or more commands written by computer to so is she helping the kids when it comes to doing the, the activity books and reading and stuff in a way? So what she does is ensures that these computer science terms are more status quo and commonplace. Because what you don't realize, computer science is everywhere. Kids are engaging with computer science every day. Yeah. I want to ensure that kids are not just consumers of technologies, but become innovators of it and creators of it. Yeah. So that's why it goes very well with the book, um, especially the storybook, which is actually a picture book and a chapter book. Um, it also has two exercises in there as well. Um, and yeah, they just enjoy, um, show me the computer scientist. She's just a young girl learning computer programming concepts from her mom, which is who is a software engineer as well. 
And so she makes it relatable as she explains computer science concepts to everyday life. Yeah. Yeah, such as the concept of a loop. She's crossing the street with her mom and she looks up and she sees the traffic light switching from red, yellow, and green. And she's like, mom, that's like the concept of a loop in computer science. And I did that on purpose to ensure, to make kids understand that computer science is all around you. You can actually see these concepts all everywhere. Oh my God, I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> like, you're so excited about it. That is so great thinking, kids. That's what we need more of. Because I you. will say, my, my science, it was just, anyways, we want to put the X over here and the Y, and you didn't learn it. This is really fun. Thank Where you. Where can people find more about, of course, your company, mm -hmm. number two, one, and also two, about this great product you have here. Absolutely, so you can learn more on our website, which is innovant-tech, that's I-N-N-O-V-A-N-T-tech, T-E-C-H dot com. And once they go there, they can go to our online store to find out more about these. So say the name again of the company, because I said it wrong, I said. Oh, it's okay. It is called. <laughs> Innovant. Innovant. Yeah, there Innovant, it is. Innovant Technology. Innovant Technology, see, yes. I got the thank you, I wanna make sure we got that right. So, no and we'll problem. make sure we have the information on aztv.com for you. So, all right. <laughs> Stick around, we got more of the mix right after this. <laughs>